Greetings, unsettled souls. It may be an unusual place to find a video, but most of the time the camera, I think, since point, sits pointed directly at me, and you've seen my pretty face, or whichever other word you would like to substitute, many times. I thought that filming it this way would be a very good way to bring a stark reminder of just what it all comes down to. I'm here at the uh, Forest Hill Memorial Garden Cemetery in North Canton, Ohio. What inspired me to do this video was a couple of things. Particularly, I was listening to Brian Chappell. He has a radio program. And uh, he had said that there is a myth within the media and within what is known as common knowledge, which, you know, many times isn't true. Um, many times you hear this study or of studies that say that 50% of all marriages end in divorce. And that this is true among Christians as well. Would you be surprised to find out that this isn't entirely true? And before I go further, I wish to say that I bring this to you with a bit of conviction myself. I am both divorced and unfortunately separated. Do you get more information? No. But I will say this. As Brian Chappell on his radio program pointed out, it is only true among 50% of the people who claim to be Christians. And again, I preach to no one. I'm one of those people. Among those who attended church regularly, of which I was not, I sort of am now, but among those who have not, it's 50%, but among those who attend church on a regular basis, 90% of their marriages succeed. Now that doesn't mean that there are not unhappy Christian marriages. I also don't know what the statistics are to be fair to other religions. I happen to be Christian myself, so I'm giving you the study that I heard of from a Christian talk show, talk show host. But I bet you if you looked up the number of people who attended the Jewish synagogue on a regular basis compared to those who did not, I bet that you would find a higher rate of marriage success. I'm just going to put that out there. And my point of making the video is I want you to take a look around. Go ahead and look around here as we take our walk. Do you think it matters? As I said on the radio, do you think it matters if the paint was chipped on their windowsill? Do you think it matters about what they were arguing about? Some of these people may have gone through those very issues. And they overcame them. Some of these people here may have gone to their grave wishing that they hadn't done something or said something that caused their lives to go in a direction that they wished that never had. I have been given a, uh, a window, an opportunity, if you will, to reach people on my show now that it has been picked up by Opera News. And I think it's a good idea, considering the state of our country and the way that we toss each other away like t-shirts. We throw, we throw relationships away and seek another one. I'm not going to preach to you as to whether or not that's moral or not. 
And I'm not going to pretend that I've always lived a moral life because I'll be struck dead and then I'll be laying here in this cemetery like an idiot. But let me tell you this. Have you ever thought about the amount of time that the average person spends rebuilding what ought not to be broken? What in the world do I mean by that? Well, the other day I looked back on some mistakes that I've made in my life. Believe it or not, I know you guys all think that I'm perfect, but I've made a few mistakes. I've said some things and done some things and would really like the opportunities in a lot of instances to fix things. Well, you know what? Even if I get to do that, how much time goes by from repairing things? How much time is given to the repair of things? Maybe which shouldn't be broken. How much time goes into that when you could be doing other things? For instance, I know that there were times with my band that maybe if I had handled certain members better, they would have been able to have um, remained in the band and we maybe would still be friends. Was I in the right when I said something? Was I in the wrong? You know what? Sometimes that doesn't matter so much as the way that it's said. So, of course, we had to replace members, and that can take months, depending on, you know, the talent of the musician and the style, and passing time when I was in it tended to write extremely complicated music at points. Other times it was punk rock simple, but sometimes it could get very progressive, very technical. So there's a setback, and you know what? You gotta build, you gotta build. Why? Because you broke something. When you should be moving forward... Well, we do that with relationships, don't we? There's a whole bunch of graves just waiting for people to die. You don't want to pass with these kinds of things on your mind and on your heart, do you? So I'm saying, maybe we can save a lot of time. We don't have to be putting our lives on hold to rebuild relationships with somebody else when it may be easier to fix them ourselves. And I don't just mean romantic ones. I mean professional relationships. I mean business deals. You, you work forever to build a relationship, say one company to another. Maybe this, uh, whoever supplies the dirt here to this cemetery and whoever owns the cemetery. You know, a, an argument, something not said right, someone not acting professional. Hypothetically, it didn't happen. Bam. Now... The cemetery has to find somebody else to do whatever it is they do with the dirt here beyond the obvious. Got to bring it, got to haul it. You know what? That wouldn't have happened. You wouldn't have lost that time. And that's the way I want to close this out. If we know that living in the way that we are quote unquote supposed to, the way that religion would have you do it, you know, conventional religion. You know what? It's not saying that you have to do this to be capricious. It's saying that if you live this way, if you forgive, if you try not to do things that need forgiven for, and again, I'm as guilty as anyone, then you'll have a lot more of your life before you end up here than you otherwise would. So take a look around and please think about what I've just delivered to you. If you build something once, it's easier to repair it if you make a mistake than it is to build it all over again. It's also easier not to do something stupid, which I learned sometimes the hard way. Good night, friends. God bless. Please hit share. I hope that this was a help to you.